Allied intervention, along with Archangel. First Japan, then England, France, the United States, and others too. World War I is not yet over, but the new communist government has forsaken Russia's allies and has signed a disastrous peace with Germany, thereby allowing the Germans to concentrate their military power against the allies still fighting to the death in France. The summer of 1918 also brings civil war to the Russians. From the Volga to Siberia, anti-Bolshevik armies organize, aided by the allies. Some fight for the old regime, some fight for the independence of national minorities, some fight for revolutionary causes of their own, but all fight against Lenin. Commissar for war, Leon Trotsky, forges an army under the red banner of the revolution, an army which abolishes all rank and military courtesy, declaring that it fights for equality and the emancipation of peasants and workers. In the name of brotherhood, the red troops are pledged to a war of extermination against all who reject the new faith. The government may be weak, may even be discredited, but nationalism, as always, is fiercely strong. For two long years, the struggle for control of one-sixth of the Earth's surface Russia's 8,500,000 square miles rages with volcanic fury on a dozen fronts, from the Caspian Sea to the Arctic, from the Baltic to Mongolia.
communists have made Moscow the capital of their new Russia. Here is assembled the Soviet of People's Commissar. The right of the working classes for self-determination is a democratic superstition, Lenin tells his commissar. Lenin forbids free speech, forbids freedom of the press, forbids the right to strike. The state owns, controls, is everything. The party and the party alone knows what is best for the people, and Lenin alone knows what is best for the party. Foreign intervention has failed, and the civil war has been crushed. But there is unrest in the land. There is unrest in the city. There is another crisis. To meet it, Lenin decreed his new economic policy, the expedient NEP. The new economic policy of communism is the old economic policy of capitalism. Workers and peasants, merchants and small capitalists, are allowed to save their country by a system their government scorns, private enterprise. 